Welcome to the Travel Robot. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when we post a video. Tallahassee is the capital city of the U.S. state of Florida. It is the county seat and the only incorporated municipality in Liam County. Tallahassee became the capital of Florida, then the Florida Territory in 1824. In 2020, the population was 196,169, making it the eighth largest city in the U.S. state of Florida and the 126th largest city in the United States. The population of the Tallahassee metropolitan area was 385,145 as of 2018. Tallahassee is the largest city in the Florida Big Bend and Florida Panhandle region. With a student population exceeding 70,000, Tallahassee is a college town, home to Florida State University, ranked the nation's 19th best public university by U.S. News and World Report. Florida A&M University ranked the nation's best public historically black university by U.S. News and World Report. And Tallahassee Community College, a large state college that serves mainly as a feeder school to Florida State. As the capital, Tallahassee is the site of the Florida State Capitol, Supreme Court of Florida, Florida Governor's Mansion, and nearly 30 state agency headquarters. The city is also known for its large number of law firms, lobbying organizations, trade associations, and professional associations, including the Florida Bar and the Florida Chamber of Commerce. It is a recognized regional center for scientific research and home to the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. Indigenous peoples occupied this area for thousands of years before European encounters. Around 1200 CE, the large and complex Mississippian culture built earthwork mounds near Lake Jackson which survive today. The Spanish Empire established its first colonial settlement at Street Augustine. During the 17th century, they established several missions in Appalachian territory to procure food and labor to support their settlement, as well as to convert the natives to Roman Catholicism. Florida Governor's Mansion and nearly 30 state agency headquarters. The city is also known for its large number of law firms, lobbying organizations, trade associations, and professional associations, including the Florida Bar and the Florida Chamber of Commerce. It is a recognized regional center for scientific research and home to the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. Indigenous peoples occupied this area for thousands of years before European encounters. Around 1200 CE, the large and complex Mississippian culture had built earthwork mounds near Lake Jackson which survive today. The Spanish Empire established its first colonial settlement at Street Augustine. During the 17th century, they established several missions in Appalachian territory to procure food and labor to support their settlement, as well as to convert the natives to Roman Catholicism. 1. Lake Jackson Mounds Archaeological State Park Lake Jackson Mounds Archaeological State Park, 8LE1, is one of the most important archaeological sites in Florida the capital of chiefdom and ceremonial center of the Fort Walton culture, inhabited from 1050 to 1500. The complex originally included seven earthwork mounds and a public plaza. One of several major mound sites in the Florida Panhandle, the park is located in northern Tallahassee, on the south shore of Lake Jackson. The complex has been managed as a Florida state park since 1966. On May 6, 1971, the site was listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. The site was built and occupied between 1,000 and 1,500 by people of the Fort Walton culture, the southernmost expression of the Mississippian culture. The scale of the site and the number and size of the mounds indicate that this was the site of a regional chiefdom and was thus a political and religious center. After the abandonment of the Lake Jackson site, the chiefdom seat was moved to Anhica, rediscovered in 1987 by B. Calvin Jones and located within DeSoto Site Historic State Park, where in 1539 it was visited by the Hernando de Soto Entrada, who knew the residents as the historic muscogean speaking Apalachee people. 2. Street Marks Lighthouse The Street Marks Light is the second oldest light station in Florida. It is located on the east side of the mouth of the Street Marks River. In the 1820s, the town of Street Marks, Florida was considered an important port of entry. The town served as a port for the prosperous planting region of Middle Florida and some counties of South Georgia, 
growers hauled their agricultural products down to the port town in wagons by way of an early road that connected the then-territorial capital of Tallahassee to the town of Street Marks. Once the agricultural products reached the new port town, they were loaded aboard boats for shipment to New Orleans and Slash or Street Augustine. There were, however, problems in navigating both the Apalachee Bay and the Street Marks River. In many places, both the bay and river were shallow, and it was not too uncommon for boats to run aground. 3. Tom Brown Park Tom Brown Park is a 255-acre city park in Tallahassee, Florida. Located on the eastern side of Tallahassee off Capitol Circle, Tom Brown Park is a large recreation park featuring several baseball fields, a disc golf course, tennis courts, a bionic track, a 3.1-mile mountain bike trail known as Magnolia Trail, and picnic areas. Hike, jog, or bike the trails. Bring the dog for a game of frisbee and let the teens and kids have a blast at the playground. 4. MagLab The National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, MagLab, is a facility at Florida State University, the University of Florida, and Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico that performs magnetic field research in physics, biology, bioengineering, chemistry, geochemistry, and biochemistry. It is the only such facility in the U.S. and is among 12 high magnetic facilities worldwide. The lab is supported by the National Science Foundation and the state of Florida. Currently, the lab holds a world record for possessing the world's strongest magnet for nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy experiments. The 33 short ton series connected hybrid, says CH, magnet broke the record during a series of tests conducted by MagLab engineers and scientists. In 1989, Florida State University, FSU, Los Alamos National Laboratory, and the University of Florida submitted a proposal to the National Science Foundation, NSF, for a new national laboratory supporting interdisciplinary research in high magnetic fields. The plan proposed a federal state partnership serving magnet related research, science, and technology education, and partner industries. 5. Alfred B. McClay Garden State Park Alfred B. McClay State Gardens is a 1,176 acre Florida State Park, botanical garden, and historic site located in Tallahassee in northeastern Florida. The gardens are also a U.S. historic district known as the Killern Plantation Archaeological and Historic District. It received that designation on August 16, 2002. The property associated with McClay was part of the Lafayette Land Grant. In antebellum times, it was part of the Andalusia Plantation, growing cotton. Starting in 1882, a vineyard on the property produced wine until Leon County voted to go dry in 1904. In 1923, New York financier Alfred Barmore McClay, the son of Robert McClay, and his wife, Louise Fleischmann, purchased the 1,935 acres Lac Cal Quail Hunting Plantation and adjoining land, creating a 3,760 acres estate he called Killern after his ancestral village and the birthplace of his great grandfather in Scotland. 6. Tallahassee Automobile Museum the Tallahassee Automobile Museum, TACM, also known as the Tallahassee Automobile and Collectibles Museum, is an automobile museum in Tallahassee, Leon County, Florida. The museum is owned by Tallahassee-based businessman DeVoe L. Moore. The museum's collection includes over 160 automobiles, Steinway Grand Pianos, die-cast toy cars, pedal cars, antique boating items, golf memorabilia, hit and miss motors, brass cash registers, clocks, bicycles, boats, sports memorabilia, motorcycles, can openers, spark plugs, artifacts, and memorabilia. The site is also known for its place as during the 2016 presidential election, U.S. President Donald Trump held a campaign rally on October 25, 2016, in the Water Buffalo Pasture next door. 7. Bradley's Country Store Bradley's Country Store Complex is located 12 miles, 19 kilometers, north of Tallahassee, Florida, United States on Centerville Road in the community of Felkel, Florida. In 1910, Mrs. Bradley began selling sausage from her kitchen to the local community. The store was constructed in 1927 and served the people of the surrounding area of Felkel and Mekoshuki. 
In 1915, a cane press and syrup furnace was constructed followed a few years later by a syrup house to store the bottled cane syrup. In 1922, a commissary was built, and later on a grist mill, smokehouse, and sausage processing plant were constructed. 8. Lichtgate on High Road The Lichtgate on High Road is a site in Tallahassee, Florida. It is located at 1401 High Road. Jepson purchased the property on which the cottage now stands in 1955 from a group of individuals representing the Capital City Free Will Baptist Church. This church was never established, but the sale of the property included covenants preventing development for 25 years. Jepson drew inspiration for the design of her cottage from many different sources. The primary source was the appearance of the Earl Gresh Wood Parade Museum, located in Street Petersburg, FL. Jepson even refers to the Wood Parade home in her final book called Lickgate on High Road, writing, It occurred to me that it might not be impossible to move a small house from Street Petersburg, Florida, to a site in Tallahassee. 9. Edward Ball Wakula Springs State Park Edward Ball Wakula Springs State Park is a Florida state park in Wakulla County, Florida, United States. This 6,000-acre wildlife sanctuary, located south of Tallahassee, is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The park draws its name from Edward Ball, the DuPont family financial manager who sold the parklands to the state of Florida. He built the lodge in 1937. Paleo Indians are known to have camped in the spring 12,000 years ago, where they hunted mastivans, bison, and other ancient animals. The bottom of the spring bowl is littered with bones of mastodons, giant sloths, giant armadillos, and camels. 54 archaeological sites have been identified in the park. Excavation of part of the Wakulla Springs Lodge site, 8 Goe 329, found successive strata of artifacts from 20th century Seminole, Fort Walton culture, and Whedon Island culture. 10. Florida State University Florida State University, FSU, is a public research university in Tallahassee, Florida. It is a senior member of the State University System of Florida. Florida State University comprises 16 separate colleges and more than 110 centers, facilities, labs, and institutes that offer more than 360 programs of study, including professional school programs. In 2021, the university enrolled 45,493 students from all 50 states and 130 countries. Florida State is home to Florida's only national laboratory, the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory and is the birthplace of the commercially viable anti-cancer drug Taxol. Florida State University also operates the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art, the State Art Museum of Florida, and one of the largest museum-slash-university complexes in the nation. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our latest video and that it gave you some inspiration for your next adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips, guides, and recommendations. And if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, let us know in the comments below. Safe travels, and we'll see you on our next adventure.